hi all let let me discuss about the topic uh, rotating crystal method and powder method first of all uh, we are discussing about the rotating crystal method that is the determination of crystal structure by Bragg's method Bra we also call it as Bragg's rotating crystal method uh, then first uh, in rotating crystal method we use x-ray spectrometer as shown in this figure uh, so we have uh, we have a, a x-ray tube a focusing slit and a, a turning table and recording device so uh, first first of all rotate uh, we consider x-ray tube inside in inside which we have a target material in this target material uh, it is connected to a positive end and uh, other side is connected to a negative end so uh, this uh, in this target material the x-ray uh, the rays are uh, continuously falling on this target material and which is get reflected and it passes through this focusing slit a small hole is born spin hole uh, in the focusing slit it is passed through that focusing slit and falls on the uh, crystal si single crystal sample which is kept inside a turning table so um, this uh, turning table is rotated continuously and thus uh, the crystal also will be rotated and we will get uh, that the uh, theta value will be changing continuously and uh, were, uh, and uh, the lambda wavelength will be constant lambda uh, con lambda will be constant and theta will be varying and then uh, the ADV, uh, deflector uh, beam is again recorded by the recording device this is the uh, arrangement of uh, rotating crystal method then we can look about the point uh, this x-ray is generated in the tube t and then pass through the slit to which we obtain a narrow beam of radiation that is x-ray inside the x-ray tube the x-ray is generated and it is passed to, uh, through the focusing slit to the crystal sample then x-ray is uh, allowed to strike on a single crystal sample mounted on a turning table crystal is rotated gradually by the turning table and increase the glancing angle at which the x-rays are exposed to face the crystal that is uh, this angle uh, turning table is rotated continuously and thus we will this will have theta is varying continuously so the intensity of the deflected x-rays are measured on a recording device or which may be ionization chamber or photographic plate this uh, recording device will uh, record the intensity of that x-ray uh, deflected beam uh, so this is the arrangement of rotating crystal method and uh, we have uh, this the chief use of uh, this rotating crystal method and this variation is the determination of unknown crystal structure this is the main point that is it is used to determine the unknown crystal structure and for this purpose its most powerful tool that extracts photographer has its at disposal uh, this method is used for the determination of unknown crystal structure so next method is powder method of x-ray diffraction this uh, powder method is also known as debay scherer method uh, it is found by debay and scherer so uh, this uh, method is devised by debay and scherer in 1916 to the to determine the structure of finely powdered polycrystalline material here uh, this in this method we use the pow finely powdered crystal is powdered and used uh, inside a capillary tube so uh, finely powdered crystalline material is kept inside a capillary tube and a narrow beam of monochromatic x-ray is allowed to fall on the capillary tube so um, this is that uh, capillary tube on which we kept uh, the finely powdered crystalline material and uh, this x-ray monochromatic beam is allowed to fall allowed to fall on this crist uh, capillary, capillary tube in which uh, this um, finely, uh, finely powdered polycrystalline material specimen uh, there are many crystals in that powder so we will have different values of theta and it is deviated it is deviated and uh, we will get a cone shape 
so uh, this uh, x rays are diffracted only when the Bragg's law equation 2d sin the 2d sin theta equal to n lambda is satisfied that is Bragg's law equation is 2d sin theta equal to n lambda the if it satisfies the Bragg's law equation uh, it will be diffracted so mm, the beam of x rays are made monochromatic using a filter uh, beam are made uh, monochromatic using a filter and again a photographic film is kept to receive the diffracted x-ray this uh, this shape this is that the uh, photographic film it is used to receive the diffracted x-ray so this is the arrangement this is the arrangement for powder crystal method x-ray monochromatic beam is fall on uh, capillary tube where fine powdered crystalline material is kept and it is uh, uh, deviated dif diffracted to a more photographic film in which the uh, diffracted x-ray films are fall and recorded and then we will get a pattern like this this is the uh, pattern we obtain through this powder crystal method this is the arrangement of lines in the diffraction pattern so now the advantages of this uh, powder method <coughs> is identification of unknown crystalline material uh, that is in powder method and rotating crystal method we have uh, we can identify the unknown crystalline material and uh, next uh, advantage is determination of unit cell dimension and then measurement of samples purity to uh, measure the purity of sample we can use this powder method and uh, it helps to determine the lattice parameter uh, also to determine the lattice parameter we can use this powder method